Hi everyone, welcome back to our technical TME series. My name is Goran, and in the next few videos I'm going to talk to you about our new solution for intersite security with ACI. So let's take a look at using FirePower Next Gen Firewall in the form of an intersite cluster with ACI Multipod as your multi data center security solution. We're going to do an introduction here before we jump into a next video with the demo itself. In this case, we have to use an app-centric way of inserting the firewall in the fabric using a PBR service graph and a contract. In this particular design, we have only one bridge domain that has multiple SVIs, and those two are residing in these EPGs, and we have an FTD cluster that has multiple devices attached to that service graph, one in each pod. Subject itself, we can use a single subject with full inspection, all sending traffic to the firewall, or you also have an option to have multiple subjects where you can direct low risk, high volume traffic, line rate through the fabric between these same workloads. If we take a look at this diagram here, what we have done is taken two ACI pods and attached, in this case, Firepower 4100s, two units into each. They are dual attached, forming VPCs within each pod itself. With this solution, we can localize traffic within each pod, avoiding the need to trombone between the pods to accomplish firewall inspection. And this occurs when the workloads are talking within the same pod and when the workloads are talking across the pods where the provider EPG location is used to actually locate the firewalls we're going to use for the graph as well. These firewalls are in the same cluster and master is used to control all configuration within this cluster which means that our policy pushes only occur to the master, which is then responsible for syncing that across other units. At the same time, these units monitor each other through the control plane and sync all the connections that are going through the cluster itself. This becomes important in case of failures. This solution has resiliency in multiple ways. Besides having a port, switch, and device resiliency that we accomplish with clustering and VPCs. Anycast service allows us to also use different pods for resiliency. What I mean by that is if the inspection that was happening local to a pod one on these firewalls, if those firewalls happen to fail, the fabric is smart enough to direct that traffic to any live firewalls in other pods. So in this case, the communication between these two EPGs will be redirected to a firewall four, which will become the new owner of those connections, and we wouldn't see any disruption in service. Further, as part of clustering, if a master actually fails, the new one is quickly elected and configuration can then be applied to that new master itself. This particular feature has been enabled only on the ACI side. It's called Anycast Service, and it's really only working with Cisco firewalls, in particular, our spanned E2Channel clustering that can run either with ASA or FTD. Inside the policy-based redirect screen, we enable the feature by simply checking the Anycast endpoint here. And Fabric immediately will start treating these PBR destinations, the IP and MAC of the FTD cluster, as Anycast gateway, Anycast service type of uh, functionality within the Fabric itself. That concludes our quick introduction. Let's take you to the demo next. Thank you.